Pixel Dimension 15 video, and my promotion just released in one day, and now it's available for tablets. So it's available in the Google Play Store right now, it's been there for a while, but it's only been available for phones, and now they finally put it in for tablets, and so I'm going to be reviewing it in this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and let's get started. So, this is the startup screen here, you can slide to the right to get to any of your uh, side menus. You can create a new notebook, which is pretty much your categories, and inside every notebook you have sections. You can also create a new section, for example, you know, each of your classes or jobs or something, and in each section you can click and make new pages. Now the two first ones are obviously built in. Uh, clicking the new button obviously just gives you a new note, and this is where this app really begins to shine, especially on tablet. You can type anything here, um, but where this app really excels is the customization of your notes. Now, it makes a compromise here. It's not the easiest app to use, it's not the quickest note-taking app, but it is the most customizable by far, far. So you can change, you know, you can highlight your some stuff, you can change the font color, you can change the actual font, the size, you can bold stuff. It's it's a very, 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 very multifunctional uh, word editor. And this reminds me of, you know, SkyDrive or OneDrive. You can also insert some stuff like, you know, a to-do list right from there. It's really easy to do. You can also draw. Now, this was a really cool feature because all the drawing apps I've seen are really bad. Now, this one actually even has, you know, a stylus support. So if you have a Note 3, this is the app to use. But on my Nexus 7, I don't have one, so I just use my fingers. But even the fingers is just remarkably accurate. Um, it's just kind of mind-blowing how accurate it is. I've never seen an app, a third-party app, that is as accurate as uh, OneNote. I mean... This thing, it, it's not the, I don't have the best handwriting, but it's very, very accurate, especially for, you know, a finger, especially if you have fat fingers. Um, you can draw stuff with it, you can erase things very easily, you can change colors, you can change the thickness. You can also change, you know, how you actually see it. You can make it into graph paper, which I personally think looks cool. You can also change the page color. So again, going on the theme of just crazy amounts of customization in, you know, each and every single note you take. You can just click a new one by just clicking on that plus button. It's really easy and quick, but actually getting there is a little bit difficult. You can also add a picture, just like Evernote, Google Keep. This was a pretty good feature. I, I liked it a lot. And um, I, I think it's going to be very useful if you're going to a, you know, a school, if you're in college. And there's also widgets, and I've got to say, there's four options. You can quick add a couple stuff. You can have the recent widget, which is pretty much your summary. Now, once you drop this on there, it's pretty small, but you can just readjust that. But it's a very useful and easy to use, and it looks awesome. Um, it's a, just a great widget to use. Uh, there's four buttons at the top, just like Google Keep. You can see all your notes. You can click on one to go there. Now... You know, it gives you a like a first sentence of your notes. That's always handy. You just click on a new note button to create a new note, and you're back to the new note screen. So that was definitely easy to use. And again, I was really mind blown by the drawing feature. You know, if you're in like chemistry class or something, you want to draw something. This is gonna be pretty pretty useful. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Again, this widget just blew my mind. Now, it also syncs every time you create a new note uh, in your notification thing, as you can see there. So, overall, a very, very easy to use thing. Now, you can always obviously make a new note. You can hold down one of those notes in the sidebar to delete them, and it automatically syncs uh, with one note, uh, one drive. So, you're going to be deleting that note on your SkyDrive OneDrive account as well. So overall, this is a very good app and I really think this has great potential if you can get into the right hands. Now it has over a million downloads already so I think this is really gonna skyrocket as it's free and is the most it has the best features of any note-taking app I've ever seen. Now they could make it better on sim simplicity terms but the features are just so amazing and so nice I don't see 
how Evernote even comes close to competing with this. So I'll have a link in the description to go download this, but thank you for watching this video, and tell me what you guys think in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, you can press that subscribe button, and thank you for watching. I've seen a lot of other stuff for these. Now this watch has been hyped like crazy, because it looks awesome, and Android wear is very, very functional.